Hello! So, I wasn't planning on doing another video so soon, and I actually just finished editing the one that I recorded yesterday and posted it, um, but there have been some unfortunate occurrences uh, today that is resulting in me needing to go to the hospital this afternoon, the emergency room. Um, I'm at work now, and I'm staying at work until my normal time, um, but this, so for the last day and a half or so, um, I've, my port has been getting more and more painful. Um, I was deaccessed, I deaccessed on Sunday night, and, um, when I deaccessed, it was because the dressing was, um, it seemed like there was something wrong with the dressing, and it, when I took the dressing off, the gauze and stuff that's, that was underneath the dressing by the needles had gotten wet and that was in my other video I talked about how there was stuff that it seemed like it was backing up um, and not all going in and that seemed like the explanation for it because there was no other explanation I hadn't showered while I was accessed I hadn't there was no reason why it would have gotten wet underneath there so uh, so I deaccessed and I cleaned it up and with alcohol and all that and um, and then accessed the next night on Monday night and it was fine when I accessed um, and I only accessed one lumen I'd had both accessed before that um, so I only accessed one lumen and um, and it was fine that night and then yesterday I'm not, maybe in the morning it's it was tender and it usually isn't and I just thought that maybe the needle was making it a little sore because I had both lumens accessed that the other side was sore because of having the needle in that one before. So I didn't really think much of it because it wasn't too bad yesterday morning and then throughout the day it was getting worse and worse. And by last night um, it was bad enough that I couldn't sleep on my stomach which usually is not an issue at all for me. Um, I usually have like no pain with my port when it's accessed, when it's deaccessed. When I'm accessing, there might be a tiny little bit of pain, but a lot of times there isn't because I have so much scar tissue. Um, so anyway, so it was it was really painful last night, and so this morning I was like, you know what? I just need to see what's going on. So I took the dressing off and deaccessed, and it was, and it still is. Um, like around the port is swollen and like kind of like up here so it's, I'm not really going to be able to, to describe it that well because I you can't really see very well but here's this is the port and here's the two lumens or the two spots where needles have been in for the two lumens and so the port itself is like it's hard to feel because it's so swollen and kind of hard around the top of it it's really weird and around the bottom of it kind of um the swelling around the sides seems like it's a little bit better than it was this morning but it's really it's just really tender and sore and kind of warm to the touch so immediately i was like oh my gosh <laughs> great like these are all signs of an infection so um, I immediately emailed my doctor um, and let her know what was going on. And she called me this morning and said, you know what, it really sounds suspicious. So I want you to go to the hospital and they'll probably start you on antibiotics. Um, she said, so the, and she thinks it's staph most likely. And that's what I had before, um, like three years ago. Um, I had a staph infection that resulted in my first port being taken out um, and I was in the hospital for a week and a half because it was really complicated and I had had it for a long, long time. Um, and it had just gone undiagnosed. Um, we thought it was other stuff. So um, she's being really proactive, which is good. And like hopefully this was caught really, really early and hopefully this will just be a matter of getting getting it diagnosed, getting cultures done, getting it diagnosed, getting on antibiotics, 
um, which I totally forgot that um, the antibiotic that's used for staph is vancomycin. And when I was on it for my last infection, I ended up being allergic to it after like three and a half weeks. So I'm not going to be able to take that again. So we're going to have to figure something else out. Um, so, um, yeah. But hopefully it'll be relatively easy and I'll be able to keep the port. Um, there's a chance, though, that I'll have to have it taken out and deal with all of that stuff. Um, if that happens, it seems likely that um, I won't be able to have it put in, back in on the same side. And But I'll deal with all that stuff if it comes to that. So that's what's going on. So I'm at work for another um, hour and 45 minutes. And then I will um, go back to my apartment and pack up some stuff and um, and then head to Eric's and he'll take me to the hospital. Um, and my doctor has called ahead or is calling ahead to let them know that I'm coming. I have to go through the emergency room. Um, and I'm not sure yet if they're actually going to admit me or not. But I'm planning as though I'm going to be in the hospital um, at least overnight and possibly for longer than that. So, um, kind of sucks. I had to like email everyone. I had a, a lot of stuff, a lot of meetings and things I was supposed to go to tomorrow. So I had to email everyone and let them know what was going on. But, um, oh well, that's what happens. I'm going to take care of this. So, um, yep. So I will try to update when I have more information. Um, and uh, if you can send me some good healing thoughts, that would be great. Um, I don't have a thermometer with me, so I can't tell if I have a fever or not. And it's a really, really hot day, so that doesn't help. But hopefully, hopefully this has not spread very far yet. So, hope you're all having a good day. Um, and I will talk to you soon.